According to the African Blockchain Report 2022, published by CV, we see in collaboration with South Africa's Standard Bank, Ripple and XRP are already in use in 13 African countries. An entire page is dedicated to Ripple technology in the report, which was released in late April 2023 but has gone unnoticed in the XRP community. According to the report, the opportunities in Africa for digital payment service providers such as Ripple are enormous. While the region has made significant progress in recent years, much of its potential remains untapped, according to the report. Electronic payments revenue is expected to increase by 20% to $40 billion by 2025. The report effectively serves as a sales pitch for Ripple and its on-demand liquidity solution based on XRP. XRP was trading at $0.42, down 2.50% in the last 24 hours with a market capitalization of $22 billion. Through Hydra Technology, a Layer 2 protocol that allows developers to create mini blockchains or heads for functions that can be handled outside of the main blockchain, Cardano has made significant progress in scalability. Hydra heads shorten application processing time and lower transaction costs. IOG and M Labs are working on an auction using Hydra to demonstrate the technology's power. Along with technological advancements, IOG has expanded its training courses, which benefit both programmers and non-programmers in the financial industry. The IOG Academy offers courses, technical guides and Q&A session on the Cardano smart contract platforms Marlowe and Plutus. More than 500 people at IOG have worked on Cardano over the last five years and that number is now being multiplied by the large number of developers outside the company. So far, they have launched 119 projects with a thousand more in the works. IOG aims to make their lives easier and the road to decentralized finance for the world easier with each Cardano upgrade. Cardano was trading at $0.36, down 30% in the last 24 hours, with a market capitalization of $12 billion. Solana announced today that public orders for its flagship Android phone, Saga, have begun. This Web3 smartphone will be a game-changer for Web3 cryptocurrency and blockchain enthusiasts. According to the tweet, Solana Labs Mobile Saga is now accepting public orders. To emphasize, the tweet highlights the fact that Saga will support Seed Vault. This means the phone will include a self-hosted key solution as well as a Solana dApp store for accessing dApps and much more. The tweet also highlights how Saga users can apply for a Saga Genesis token directly. This would undoubtedly be a huge benefit for Saga's first users as they could apply as soon as they set up their devices upon arrival. So far, Solana Mobile has received positive feedback for Saga's intuitive interface, security features and deep integration with Solana. The phone has been well received in the market with pre-order shipments already underway. The company is rapidly expanding and plans to expand into new markets soon. Solana was trading at $20.66, down 2.44% in the last 24 hours with a market capitalization of $8 billion. LX Lab has received a bullish rating on the investors' observer sentiment score over the last five days. The sentiment score assesses Alex Lab's performance over the previous five days based on volume and price movement. The sentiment score gives a quick, short-term snapshot of car cryptocurrency's recent performance. This can help both short-term investors looking to ride a rally and long-term investors looking to buy the dip. The price of Alex Lab is currently near its five-day high. The cryptocurrency is 12.89% lower than its 5-day high and 271.05% higher than its 5-day low. Alex Lab has recently traded on low volume. This means that today's volume is lower than the average volume for the previous 7 days. Aave, a decentralized liquidity protocol, has launched on the Ethereum Layer 2 scaling platform Metis, bringing a slew of decentralized finance features and products to its ecosystem. 
The Awe community recently voted in favor of a proposal to deploy on the zero knowledge Ethereum virtual machine platform ZK Sync ERA, paving the way for the DeFi protocol to benefit from the scaling infrastructure's powerful performance improvements. Ethereum ecosystem participants are developing a variety of ZK proof powered layer 2 protocols, giving developers a choice of infrastructure to scale their respective platforms. While Aave has yet to deploy on ZK Sync ERA, it has announced the availability of version 3 of its protocol on the optimistic roll-up scaling protocol Metis. The latest version of Aave's protocol is touted to benefit users across both protocols with Metis, users set to benefit from the provision of DeFi borrowing and lending services. Aave was trading at 64.67 dollars down 2.19 percent in the last 24 hours with a market capitalization of nine million dollars that's all in today's special segment for more such updates keep watching 3.0 tv this is me vishakha thakur signing off do like share and subscribe to our channel